Hi and welcome to Excel data entering local form. Let me show you guys how this works. Right here there's nothing right now but you see the content we have on the spreadsheet there. I'm going to try and look for it. So let's come in here enter 2343 and click on look up there. Those are the data. That is good. We can always reset. Supposing we enter some other type of data in the lookup item not found. Confirm if you want to add item. I'm going to say no. Supposing we enter that lookup item not found. Confirm if you want to enter yes. And right there, I'm now going to enter the following set of data. Let's say the name is Paul Parker. Date of birth of Parker 15 11, let's say 98. And Parker is male. Cost code 100 now. And there, so we add to our database right there. So, what I'm going to do now, guys, is to try and print out this information. So, let's click on print. I don't have print on board, so I just want you to print out on the one note so click on ok or we can even set it up come in here landscape and if you want to use the advanced mode be my guest click on ok and click on ok click on ok to print out and there we go that's our print out there so you can always print that out if you want so let's close that okay we can exit if we want and reset if we want and let's find out what we just enter and make sure it's there look up yeah so what i'm going to do now is to take you guys straight into excel development environment and we put one of these together so let's do that now guys and welcome back to excel so this is an empty worksheet First of all, I'm going to save this. Let's save file, save as, and I'm going to save it right here. Save type. As, let's go for Excel macro enable. There. And I'm just going to select maybe one of these and update that. Okay, Excel lookup form. I'll call that. Excel lookup underscore. save click on save there we go right so the next thing is I'm going to enter the following those are the names so we have ID student ID first name so a so name or last name date of birth and course code so let's increase the font of that number 14 bold and maybe change the back color to something a little bit darker right that is fine right make sure it's saved so the next thing i would do is go to developer if you don't have your developer menu all you need to do is go to file and let's select options and write in there customize ribbon and make sure developer is checked then click on ok there we go so once your developer menu is ready, click on Visual Basic. Now select Insert User Form and define your user form that much. Yeah, about that. The choice is yours, though. All right. So the first thing I want to do is let me add as follows. Or the the form itself. Let's change the back color to green and let's add the following there's a frame here one frame here get rid of the content we have on this frame there we go copy that frame across we need one here and drag it right down okay i'm going to copy another frame control and just copy and bring it out 
all my frames are ready just drag this one down now select all of the frames and let's change the color to something lighter come in here and just change that to something like that's fine now on each of those frame let's add a button here we're gonna need about five of those right we need a label here one label here and one here text box we then need six text box right now let's select it all let's increase the font size to something readable make that bold maybe about 20 there and this one let's change that to excel data entry look up view look up from there and just increase the size of that I'm going to change the color of that as well. Let's change the font color to something we can see. Like that green. And change the font size. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up the whole process of the interface design. I'll get back to you guys shortly. Right there. This is how the whole interface looks now. But before I start coding, there's something I'd like to take care of on the work sheet itself you see this worksheet i like to give it a name so we go to formula right there you see the where we have name manager click on that okay and now what we want to do is to give this thing a name this worksheet a name so click on new and i'm going to just call it i look up that is the name I'm going to get rid of that and I want to enter as follows so let, let me click on OK and open it then you guys can see it okay you see now my lookup is I've set it as offset sheet 1 A1 and increment by 1 keep counting count by 1 whenever I enter a data Okay, that's what I've done in here. So have a good look at it properly. So I want to close that. So that's taken care of now. Okay, maybe I should show it to you guys again. Look at it. You need that, or else it's not going to work. Okay, close that. Now let's go back to our design view right here. Double click on exit. Let's take care of exit. Speed that up. So my lines of code for exit is going to be using a prompt function instead of entering on load me I'm going to enter as follows so there's not going to be anything so like unload me I don't like that so if you run the program and you make a mistake clicking on that you just want to be able to read and understand what's going on okay exit so that's much better double click on reset that's that's the reset I declare a variable I use a for loop to count from one to six and on frame one we have all of my components look at it there they are they are all on frame one so right there so clear whatever control that is text box on frame one and just get it nested as well that's it done the next one is to print double click on print that is it right there print is sorted there okay let's go back to the design now let's double click on add double click on that and right here enter the following lines of code for add there we go and underneath here i'm just going to once i add i want to disable the the button itself enable equals force right and what about when I clear? I want you to disable it as well on clear. Okay, let's see clear. Right underneath here. Once it's cleared, get it disabled. Now form initialize. 
double click on the form when the system starts I want it to disable the add button where is it initialize there we go let's bring that up so that you guys can see it form initialize paste that in there get it disabled now that is done take care of the lookup there that is the lookup itself now let's say so you see this text box one okay and this is two three four five and six this is where text box one double click on it so we need this event called after update there we go and right in here we're gonna enter the following lines of code okay this following lines of code they have already declared a variable that I'm going to use for my message box activate the, the sheet one and check to see if the content I'm looking for is in here okay and if it's not found ask the end user if he or she would like to add the item onto the spreadsheet else just say no if it's no then we exit out of uh, we disable the the button and play the text box but if it's yes enable the button okay and set focus on this all right then whatever is added supposing we have the item go search for it okay and populate the whole text box that is what this one is for there so have a good look at it the lines of code let me collapse this the lines of code for the text box updates from here down here you do need that is very important okay all right this is where we confirm if we have the data or not or if we want to add another data or not so let's run the program now and see first of all we're going to search and look at it there's nothing in there so let's say we add as follows enter a search for the following look up there is nothing in there let's assume we say no we don't want to do anything about that so let's enter that and look up again yes i would like to include this on the spreadsheet okay then once i click on that and enter the data of this guy in there so let's say the name is felix felix stanmore age or date of birth gender male course code all right that's fine we can always add for this time model look at it it's added so let's enter another data and look up no it's not there i would like to add that just give it a name let's say johnny johnny cool let's say 29 11 there and it's mail to um, cost code there we can just add that and that is how you look up on using excel data entry form so let's say we exit that or clear everything and try to look up the details of these guys let's look for johnny cole look up oh we have an error let's see and right there that's the error there so i'm just going to correct that that should be uh, there there we go so let's run it again and all we just need to do is to search for one of these data so i'm going to enter seven eight five six and click on look up there we go you see it's working as we want so let's say we play that and look for the other data we have in there two three there look up see that's how you create your own excel data entering lookup form with that i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial 
thanks for watching and please do subscribe and you can also join and become a member of my channel you all have a nice day now bye for now